ABCD is a trapezium. Work out the size of angle CDA. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. So the first thing we can do is mark angle CDA onto our diagram so that we know which angle we're working out. So angle CDA is this angle here. So the first thing we can do to make this question easier to solve is by adding a line here. And this gives us a triangle on the right hand side of this trapezium making this angle a right angle. So the first thing we can start working on is this right angled triangle here. So the first thing we can do is work out the length of the base. And to do this we can use Pythagoras. So Pythagoras' theorem is that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And c squared is always the hypotenuse which is the longest length. So we can see from this diagram that the line AB will be the hypotenuse of this triangle. So because of this we can rearrange this equation. So we can rearrange it to A squared is equal to C squared minus B squared. And we can start substituting in numbers. So our value for C will be 7.5 centimetres. And then our value for B will be 6 centimetres. And if we put this into our calculator, this tells us that a squared is equal to 20.25. So the final thing we need to do to work out this length is square root both sides of the equation. And this tells us that a is equal to 4.5. So therefore the base of this triangle is 4.5 centimetres. Now next we can move on to this rectangle which we've drawn on the diagram. So opposite lengths in a rectangle are equal in length. Already on the diagram, it tells us that the length of this rectangle is 10 centimetres and the height of this rectangle is 6 centimetres. So what this means is the base of the rectangle will also be 10 centimetres and this length on the right will also be 6 centimetres. So on the diagram, we've also been told that the full length of the trapezium is 24 centimetres. So what this means is the base of this right-angled triangle on the right-hand side of the trapezium will be equal to 24 minus 10 minus 4.5, which is the lengths we worked out for the base of the rectangle and the base of this right-angled triangle on the left. And this gives us an answer of 9.5 centimetres. So we can fill this in on our diagram. So now what we can see on this triangle on the right, we have two lengths, which means we can work out one of the angles by using trigonometry. So we want to work out the angle of CDA. So we can label up these sides. So the hypotenuse is always the longest side. And then the side which is opposite to this angle will be this side here. So we can label this the opposite side. And then the adjacent side is the base of this triangle. So the formula we'll want to use is tan x is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So if we substitute the values we've got in our triangle into this equation, it tells us that tan x is equal to 6 divided by 9.5 and what this means is that x is equal to tan to the negative 1 multiplied by 6 over 9.5 and if we put this into our calculator this tells us that x is equal to 32.2756 and so on now this question wants us to give our answer correct to one decimal place. So 32.2756 to one decimal place gives us a value of x, which is 32.3 degrees. And this is our final answer. Now this question's worth five marks. We'll get our first two marks for correctly using Pythagoras' theorem to work out the length of the triangle on the left. We'll get our third mark for correctly working out the length of the triangle on the right. We'll get our fourth mark for using trigonometry to work out the angle of CDA. 
And our final mark for correctly working out the angle.